Hey y'all, hey, welcome back. And if you are new here, my name is Bambi, come on in. I feel like it's been forever since I've talked to you guys, but I'm back. Life has definitely been lifing. I do wanna give a shout out to all of you who wish me a happy early birthday. I completely enjoyed it. I had a small intimate dinner, nothing big, did a little casino time. So I didn't really travel a lot, but I really did enjoy it. So again, thank you to who all wish me an early happy birthday. So today is all about the haul. Let's get into it. So first up, let's start off with home goods. So in my previous video a couple of weeks ago i mentioned that i would share a haul with you guys when i went in to do a return so the little gems that i found in that haul is a part of today so first up is this curvaceous vase i've seen this in home goods before it's been quite a time ago but it was actually on sale for 15 dollars, and i think originally it was 30 yes $29.99 so I really really like this I like the that it has a little bit of detail in it not only is it curvaceous but it has like some muted detail it almost puts me in the mind of you know like gauze bandages that you put on it's like that's the texture that's underneath but this is super pretty Something simple, you know, I like to keep it simple and I thought it was very unique. And speaking of unique, I have another piece from Home Goods. I don't know what this is, it just drew me to it. So I was very drawn to this sculptural piece. It's very different. It was also on sale for $18. I feel like with this one over time I might eventually like paint it but I thought it was very different to use as a standalone piece on a shelf bookshelf entryway foyer so lastly from home goods is this bath rug when I say it is so plush oh my goodness it feels so 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 nice I can't wait to put it down and get my feet on it. <laughs> so again, Home Goods purchase, it was $14.99. It is a heavyweight bath mat and it is by the brand, Lucky Brand. So that's that. It just feels so nice. It's almost like if Sherpa and Cashmere had a baby. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good articulation, but it is so nice. Next up is a purchase from Ross. So I know I have not done any Ross shop with me's for a while. I did go in there a couple of weeks ago specifically for an item and I decided, hey, let me just look over here at the decor pieces because you know, I'm still on the hunt. I told you for like a trivet that's large size. As you know before, I found one in Bed Bath & Beyond. It was kind of on the smaller end, but I was gonna make it work. I'm glad I did not. So when I went into Ross, unexpectedly, I found a trivet. So um, I'm currently going in between what I will do with this trivet, whether I will modify these gold pieces black and leave it white or do the entire thing black. I'm not sure yet, but this piece will be going with the DIY project that I have planned for a future video. So I was so happy to find this very inexpensive $9.99 and I want to say it's about mm, maybe 12, 12.5 in diameter. So I was so happy to look up on it. The last time I seen these in Ross, like it had me on a hunt, you know, for the last couple of months, like, oh my gosh, I got to find one. And now that I want one, I can't find one anywhere. So I looked up with this. Yay. So look out for that future video. Up next is Ulta. I swear, I only went in there for some makeup and I came out with a fragrance. <laughs> That's usually how it works, right? So um, I already have the Ariana Cloud, but I decided to get the Cloud Intense. I feel like it's an everyday scent. I feel like it's also a scent that you can layer with other scents like um, Bath and Body Works or something that's lower end, but I really love this perfume. So I decided to get another one since they're running a sale and since I had so many points because I can't stay out of Ulta. Go figure. Okay, up next is Amazon. So I can't stay off of Amazon. I will say this in my defense. 
So one of my birthday gifts was a $50 Amazon card. And of course I had to utilize it to its max. <laughs> so I haven't used it yet, but I've seen a lot of good reviews on this. This is actually like a TikTok find. And I'm like, hmm, let me see how extra I can be. So basically what it is, is a foot mat for the shower or bathtub. And it serves as like a massager as well as like a foot scrub. And so I bought this to put in my shower. On the back, the brand is Beskar. It cleans feet and toes, improves blood circulation, and softens and removes dry and dead skin. So I'm like, well, why not? Of course, we all know I opted to go with black, but I'm like, girl, your tub is white. So I went with the white one. This is considered XL, but to me, it's not like an extra large anything. I feel like this would accommodate my foot size just by eyeballing it. I would say if you're more than like a size, I don't know, maybe 10 and a half or 11, it might be a little bit too small for you. I'm not sure how it's coming across on camera, but it has these silicone parts to it. Ooh, that feel really good touching them, but there's these silicone parts that assists, I guess, with removing the dead skin and scrubbing your feet on and massaging it at the same time. In between there, there are some bigger silicone pieces. And then on the back, you have suction cups to help it keep in place in the bottom of your tub or shower. And it doesn't have to be in the bottom. I've seen people put it up like on the side of the shower. I've seen people not use it for their feet, but use it for like their arms or like, um, the back like they'll turn around and you know scrub and massage their back on it if they place it up high enough in the shower so it's multi-purpose whatever your preference is thanks tiktok next up with amazon is this dgi drone bag now if you guys can recall around vlogmas i had shared with you that i received a mini 2 dgi drone for an early christmas gift i absolutely love it i've been really utilizing it lately it did not come with a combo pack. It was just the drone and the original accessories with it. The combo pack has like the bag, extra batteries, additional propellers, things like that. So what I did was just went on Amazon and just purchased some of the accessories separately, which is actually way cheaper than getting it in the combo. No offense, Best Buy. So I decided to go ahead and purchase the DJI bag. I realized after using the drone and going out with it, doing some like practice flies and things like that, that I really wanted to be secured. And so what I did was purchase this and what I'm gonna show you next, another accessory so that I can make sure I keep it safe because that drone is too expensive to be playing around, okay? So that next piece that I was referring to would be the propeller cap. And it's also an Amazon purchase. It's so small, but it basically goes around the drone, the bottom of the drone, and it secures the propellers on the top and the bottom. I think this is critical and essential for that drone because the propellers kind of go every which way and they're very delicate and you don't want them to break or get damaged, especially with your drone in flight because we don't need it crashing, honey, okay? We don't like to drop money. <laughs> So um, I thought this was also very essential and it had some really good reviews on there. So I will definitely be utilizing this as soon as possible. So we're still shopping with Amazon. Up next, I have these kind of silicone. I don't know if they're, no, they're not silicone. They're like foam door stoppers. Another TikTok hack that I saw. And basically what these do is they serve as a barrier for door seals that have like that small little bit of light and you've adjusted your door, you've added weather stripping, you've doubled up on the weather stripping and you still have that little bitty tiny piece of light at the bottom. Well, this is a quick fix for that. And I decided to um, see how well they hold up for me in my home. I do have a little bit of light at two of my doors. And we've done, like I said before, you know, we, we did the weather stripping, we tried to adjust the door, and it's just, it's, it's not a fix. Basically during building and the construction, as this was a new build, it just kind of left that little gap there. And I don't like that because little critters and stuff come through it and I'm horrified of bugs. So, um, to help me sleep better at night, <laughs> I decided to go with these. And they have a little adhesive on the very back of it. 
And from the videos I saw on YouTube as well as TikTok, they seem very easy to apply. And I think they apply the inner or either outer part. I'll have to go back and relook at it before I actually attach them, but they're supposed to be weatherproof, very durable. So I'm very excited to use these. I'll let you know how it goes, but I do think if they work out well, that it would be a great essential to your home. Last up from Amazon is a camera bag. So for my Sony ZV-1, that's the camera that I use to vlog and share videos and content with you guys. For the most part, other times I use my cell phone. I decided to get a camera bag for it because girl, stop carrying around this camera, just laying around on the seat and doing all this extra. <laughs> um, basically, I got a camera bag to kind of house it and other essentials that I have with it like my wind puff in addition to my gimbal that i have the camera on and so it's just a small simple little bag you have a knit here for additional accessories and then you have the main three components here and from what i've seen they i've seen the camera in one part the sound puff in another part and then the gimbal in one part so it's very I feel like it's very good quality. It had really, really good reviews on Amazon. I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce the, the brand correctly, Bovke, B-O-V-K-E, and it's pretty tough. I, I saw that it's also waterproof, so I think this will be really, really cute. It's, it's I don't, I'm not sure how it's coming off on camera, but it's not a huge bag, very small, almost like a handbag, a personal handbag or like a small purse, so. I think this is really cool. Also gonna be utilizing this to keep from damaging my camera, especially the lens. Up next is Best Buy. So this is another addition to my drone. I did not have an SD card, so I'm out flying and operating like, girl, what are you doing? You don't have an SD card in here. So I captured no footage <laughs> at all on it. I'm just so goofy. And so I went into Best Buy and purchased a micro SD card. That's what the drone uses. They were running a sale, so this is very inexpensive. It's the 128 gig in 4K. Doing a little bit of research, I saw that the SanDisk Extreme Plus is a great micro SD card to use for my drone. So I'll definitely be utilizing this and in the future sharing with you content that I've captured on the drone. All right, everyone, that's it for my mini haul. So if you made it this far, as always, thank you so much for watching. If you like all things home decor and lifestyle, hit that subscribe button before you leave. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on those notification bells so that you don't miss any future content from me. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.